And joining us now is Oklahoma Congressman Kevin Hearn. He is on the House Ways and Means Committee, also on the Border Security Caucus. Uh, Congressman, of course, we're going to get to all the big developments on the political earthquake in Washington very quickly. I've got to, of course, get your reaction to this enormous news this morning. Israel at war. And we just heard, I don't know if you saw this, Congressman, but the first tweet that came out from the administration essentially uh, admonished both sides as opposed to saying, wait a minute, the Palestinian militants were the aggressor, Israel's defending itself. Your reaction to what's happening now? Well, I think it just tells you really where the administration is. You know, when you look, go back to the Obama administration, and you have an Iranian appeaser like we saw with the JCPOA, you're sending some $1.7 billion, the pallets of cash, so to speak, uh, you know, back to Iran. We saw the bad things happen after that. We saw the strength that President Trump brought with the Abraham Accords, trying to bring peace and resolve to the Middle East issue, praise for that, something that no one ever thought could be done. And now quickly what we've seen, even in my, with my colleagues across the aisle and the House of Representatives, uh, condemning Israel over the past two years under the Biden administration and some since they've been in office the last four years, uh, no wonder we are where we are. And then just recently, this last month, Six billion dollars uh, returned back to Iran, and we wonder why they're doing bad things. Uh, myself, uh, Senator Haggerty, and Congressman Joe Wilson sent a letter to the White House just a few weeks ago asking for what was your th thinking? What were you thinking that you did this? And now we're seeing, uh, you know, what the result of the attacks. Uh, Israel is at war, and uh, there needs to be some real reckoning on this. And this is why we need to get leadership back in the House of Representatives yeah. with the Republicans. I was just about to say it is so important to get that leadership in order uh, because they are looking to America uh, for leadership right now. And, of course, uh, Congress and the House, uh, you all understand it all too well. Uh, Congressman, uh, before I let you go, i got to ask you also, um, I know you've sort of flirted with the idea of running for Speaker of the House. Uh, Steve Scalise has thrown his name in officially. Also, Jim Jordan thrown his name in. Have you decided yet? Well, thanks for asking that question. As I saw uh, everyone early in the week, I was going to call every single member because I think at this time of inflection that we need to know what each member is thinking. I've talked to 200 members personally, and I will tell you the, the response has been positive. But right now, I, you know, I didn't come to Washington, D.C. to be Speaker of the House. I came to get something done. And I think right now the most important thing that we need to get done is get a new speaker elected, get the Republican Party back going again to hold this administration accountable for having a you know peace through strength mentality and not looking at what we've done in the military and been diverted from our looking and our thinking. What I'm going to do right now is work to help either get my dear friend Jim Jordan elected or my dear friend Steve Scalise elected so that we can get a speaker with, that can get 217 votes and we can get a speaker back on the floor of the House and get back open for business. So that's my focus right now is to be a uniter. That was the common theme of the 200 members I talked to. We have got to get our party united and get back with doing the work of the American people and put the American uh, government back where it rightfully placed it should be, which is in leadership. So, Congressman, did I hear you correctly that you will not run for speaker, uh, even though obviously you've got a lot of great support and great feedback, but that you will support either Steve Scalise or Jim Jordan? Is that correct, that you're not going to run? That is correct. I think right now is the right time to do that. There, there will be a time in the future that I will look at it with, uh, with certain with Ernst. But this right now is, is a time to come together. And having three people in the race is not going to do that. It's going to protract, have a protracted race. And that's not something we need to do right now as, as a Republican government. I know my Democrat colleagues uh, will support their, their candidate. They're not going to help us at all. We need to get 217 votes behind closed doors and come out with a leader. And that's right now what I think the American people are looking for is for our government to get back open for business. I intend to support that cause. All right. Well, Congressman, thank you very much for being here. We wish you so much luck. It's great to have you here on the show, especially on this big breaking news day. Congressman Kevin Hearn, thank you. And